hey guys welcome back to our channel in this video we are going to do the review of this mini tool partition wizard so i am currently using the pro ultimate version and in this partition wizard you will get a different variant uh, firstly there is a free version also in the free version you can do all the basic things like uh, create delete format partition move resize and extending the partitions and you can check the file system and you can convert the fat file system to the ntfs file system and there is a pro variant in the pro variant additionally you will get a features like uh, converting a dynamic disk to basic migrating os to ssd hdd like that convert os disk from mbr type to gpt type and you can able to create the bootable media builder then there is a pro platinum version so here you can get uh, additionally partition recovery data recovery if you accidentally deleted some files or if you deleted the files in uh, one year back or two years back you can recover that type of files using the partition recovery and data recovery tool so that is available only on the pro platinum and finally here is a pro ultimate when you get a pro ultimate uh, subscription so you will get a single license and you can use that license for up to five pcs you will get a free lifetime upgrade in addition to the annual subscription plan of pro uh, platinum and in this free uh, lifetime upgrade the updates is also included uh, whenever partition wizard get updated you can also update the software and it's supported for lifetime well now this is a software user interface user interface is very friendly so you can easily access all the options firstly in this mini tool partition wizard there is uh, different tools and uh, wizard we are going to share you one by one so firstly we are going to see the partition management so it's a basic uh, disk and the partition management here you can do all the basic management for example now i'm having a four disk disk one disk two disk three disk four so when i selected the disk i can able to see all the options in the toolbar section here at the left side convert disk here you can copy the disk convert a gpt disk to mbr disk and uh, you can wipe delete all the partition in that particular disk and you can check the disk surface test partition recovery disk properties data recovery like that and when you select any partition so here i am selecting this partition here i can able to see some option like change partition and here under this you can move or resize the partition you can extend the partition you can merge split and you can convert the file system from ntfs to fat or fat to ntfs or to xfat so like that you can change the file system then under this partition management so when selecting any partition so under the partition management you can delete format copy wipe and you can set the label you can change the drive letter and you can hide the partition this is one more useful feature so if you want to hide any partition you can do that for example i am having a four disk here these two disk are a portable disk so if i want to hide any disk i can able to hide so now i am hiding this uh, e drive here is the e drive so just to select the partition and just to go down here you can see the hide partition under the partition management in the toolbar select the hide partition so now you can see a operation pending here just to click on the apply and click on the s so now this particular partition has been hidden so as you seen it's it shows hidden now i'm going to the file manager as you seen that particular uh, disk has been hidden so in this way you can if you want to hide any of your uh, disk or any of your partition from your file manager in windows 11 pc you can do that using this mini tool partition wizard and whenever you want to unhide select that same partition and click on unhide partition and uh, it shows a new drive letter e like that so just to select the ok or if you want to change the drive letter change it and click on the ok and now under the operation pending click on the apply option click on the s and in few seconds it will be updated so now it's now it shows successful window click on the ok again now i'm going to the file manager now i can able to see this uh, particular disk and all the files are here 
so there will be no issues for your files for hiding on the unhiding the partition or a disk or any portable disk from your uh, file manager so this all some of the basic features you can get uh, on this uh, mini tool partition wizard using the partition management and disk management tool and the next important tool is that partition recovery and data recovery so this two tools are really working good if you accidentally deleted a partition itself means uh, in a particular disk you can recover the partition as well so once you click on the partition recovery and after that you can see a window like this click on the next now you need to select the disk in which disk you accidentally deleted your partition firstly select the disk and click on the next option and you are getting the scanning range full scan specified range like that so once you selected the full disk and you have to click on the next and it will actually fully scan the entire disk then if you accidentally deleted any partition you can able to see that partition and you can able to recover that so it is a complete full partition recovery so that is the partition recovery wizard tool then there is a data recovery so this is most useful for you i think so once you click on the data recovery now you will get a separate tab now here you can see all your partitions and uh, once you click on the devices so what are all the storage devices you are using you can see it here and uh, mainly at the bottom here you can see the recover from specific location like if you deleted accidentally from desktop recycle bin or there is a select folder option this will be really useful just click on the browse and select the folder you want i'm just selecting this backup drive f in this disk um i am going to select this folder 2024 just to choose the folder and click on select folder now it automatically uh, calculate the scanning uh, data will be shown at the bottom so currently 5% has been completed total files found 2155 remaining time 25 the 23 minutes 20 minutes around but during the scanning itself you can able to access the files for example under this 2024 folder you can see the deleted now i just go to the actual location in the file storage so once i go to the file manager here is the backup drive f and here is that particular folder 2024 so we are having that same fintech iphone and mobiles tech how to so here firstly we going to select this tech how to there is a folder called how to use hidden apps using a secret secret fingerprint so this is a i'm having this folder so similarly in the file manager so i want to search for that so here is that how to use hidden apps using your uh, secret fingerprint so now in this folder i am having some files and uh, in the data recovery page so it actually showing so two files yes i deleted these two files uh, on uh, 2024 april month so now uh, it's a 2025 so it's almost uh, near to the one year but i deleted these two files these both files are a raw footage of this video now i can able to see that uh, deleted raw footage files if i want to uh, recover that means so just to select a particular file and click on the save option so now you need to select the directory i selected that same folder after click on that okay now it actually shows recovering so now the file has been recovered now i am going to the file manager so in this location i can see the deleted files folder after opening here is the folder tech how to and i can see the same file so now that particular file has been recovered and i am opening that so as you seen now the that particular video file has been working without any issues so overall data recovery and partition recovery both these tools are working good so if you not formatted or wiped your disk or partition any time means so whenever if you want to recover any files or if you want to search for any miss, missing files you can use this uh, data recovery uh, tool on this mini tool partition wizard next there is a disk benchmark tool using this disk benchmark you can measure the performance of your storage devices so once you selected this tool here you need to select your drive so if you bought any new uh, storage devices so just select that particular storage device and you need to select the transfer size which size of file to be transferred just select a particular size and two you need to select uh, some other size 
So during this process, Minitool uh, automatically create uh, some files to transfer and uh, after completion of process, it will be automatically deleted. So generally, it helps to measure how your storage device performs. And the next space analyzer. This is also one more tool from uh, Minitool partition. You have to just select the disk or you can also select any folder also. Just to select the disk and click on the scan. So now you can able to see analytics like how much percentage of size allocated from each folders and also the right side you can see it in the format wise in the file type format wise it just to give you an analytics so that you can uh, easily proceed to where you need to uh, delete the files to reduce the space in your disk then using this mini tool partition wizard you can create a bootable media so this will be really helpful for you du during windows uh, boot failure time so just to click on this options if you want to add any other drivers click on this now click on the next option now you need to choose the media destination you have to insert any flash drive here and proceed to the mini tool media builder once you created a bootable media during if you can't able to boot your system using that uh, flash drive you can boot the system and you can check for any recovery options and finally there is some wizards in the under the toolbar section so this will be really useful for you to easily access in step by step so firstly there is a migrate os to ssd ht uh, hard disk uh, wizard so if you want to move your os from one ssd to another ssd like if you are planning to increase the uh, storage size of your ssd means then using this option you can just copy your operating system from one ssd to another ssd so you can choose the option b in case if you want to only copy the operating system to another disk means you can choose the option b or if you want to completely move all all the partitions in that particular disk to the another to the to your new disk means you need to select the a option and after that click on the next now here you need to select your destination disk your new storage device so after you selected the destination disk just click on the next and the process will be begin and once you migrated the os from the old disk to the new disk so you have to just go to your bios settings and change the bootable disk to boot your system next time and there is a copy partition wizard so if you want to uh, copy any partition uh, means so you can do you can use this wizard so just to click on the next option so here you can see all the disk and with the partition so if you want to uh, copy the entire partition to your uh, any new disk like uh, whatever it is for example if you have a pen drive or any uh, storage device so just to select that particular partition and after that click on that next now here you want to uh, give where to create a copy so now select your new disk and just click on the next and the process will be begin and also one more thing is that every time you are doing the process you can see a uh, operation pending here you have to click on the apply option then only the process will actually begin then there is a copy disk wizard so before we are seeing the partition copy wizard it's a disk copy wizard if you want to copy the entire disk with all the partition then you can use this wizard so just to select the disk so once you select the for example in the disk 2 i have a four partition means including that four partition the overall complete disk will be uh, copied to your uh, new storage device you can use this copy disk wizard if you want to copy a complete disk to your new storage devices so now these are all the some of the uh, tools and the features uh, available on your on the mini tool partition wizard Overall, it's a really good uh, software. It providing clear step-by-step -step instructions, simplifying complex uh, disk management task, offering specialized wizards for specific operations, and the user interface of this mini tool partition wizard software is user-friendly design. So overall, that's it on this video, guys. And uh, if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe to our channel. And uh, thanks for watching this video, guys.